here. It says there, Jeff and Cammy's journey to Croker. But where's Croker? Jeff and Cammy journey to Croker. We are the Thelma and <laughs> Louise <laughs> of Ireland. <laughs> Look, one more challenge to go before the final. Where are we off now? We are heading north into the capital to meet Johnny Cooper, one of the finest cornerbacks in the land, and discover just what it takes to become an All-Ireland champion with the Dublin team. And Dublin are, are sort of all conquering, aren't they, you know? They're the one that everybody wants to beat, but, but not many teams do. It'd be nice to get a glimpse of Prog Park, won't it? Wet the appetite. I've never been. <laughs> It'll be where we do our commentary for the All-Ireland final. Have we learned enough to be able to do it, do you think? I think we can get by now, Jeff. It's just the names. And I've always struggled with them. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Here we go. Aha. Uh, hey, Johnny, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Lovely to see you. How are you, Cammy? He's not the same size. He's standing on a step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get this all the time. Straight through, man. All the time. Good to see you. How are you keeping? Is this, this the family home? This is yeah, where you were brought up? This is where we're brought up in Crow Park. It's just a couple of couple of metres, I suppose, over the houses behind us. So I used to listen to all the games, I used to listen to Roar Crow Park. I used to come out here with the two brothers and play hurling and used to destroy all the bushes <laughs> <laughs> and the walls and the fences and everything else. Did you ever think you'd be playing at Crow Park then when you were growing up? Me and Mam used to go to the games. I don't know if you're familiar with Hill 16. It's the, it's the terrace stand behind the goals, and about halfway up on the right is a spot me and Mam used to always go to. And he's sit me on, plonk me on top of the, the metal barrier at the time, and he used to fall asleep. I don't know how with the roar of Crow Park, but he used to fall asleep. So you were only 18 then, were you? <laughs> <laughs> when did you start to believe that that could be a possibility? I was actually ball boy in Crow Park for many years. Used to see all the greats, uh, and even got to play against some of them in, in their latter years and, and my mm -hmm. formative years. Um, so probably mid-teens, I got a real, a real drive and real passion. But it took probably another ten years to even scratch the surface and actually put on a blue jersey mm -hmm. and get the opportunity. It's a special, special feeling to actually do it in the first place and run out there, let alone winning, is something that will live with you and hopefully will for a good while to come. We, we keep harping back to the fact it's an, an amateur sport, mm -hmm. so you've got a full-time job. Mm. How difficult is it to put football first? Because I guess you have to. Yeah, like every decision probably, bar none, is made with football in mind. So be it holidays, be it girlfriends, be it wives, be it anything at all, football is always number one. I mean, do you ever look on at, you know, footballers or whatever in, in England, the sort of money they're earning from their sport? I mean, you're, you're as dedicated. Yeah, it'd be hard to turn down large amounts of money. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. Uh, but I think, you know, the fabric which we're, you know, woven together is that amateurism and that playing for the jersey and, you know, you literally would step out in front of a bus for one of the lads. It's that close-knit and the epicentre, I think, of every community in Ireland is, is a, probably a GA parish. You know, be it my own club, Nafina, who has 2,000 members, or be it a small club in the Midlands who maybe has 200 members. And I think that's, that's always the point of contact for people. Good or bad times, the club, GA club, is always somewhere which you fall back upon. Can you sort of quantify what the difference is between club level and county level? The club guys and girls give the same time in terms of quantity. I suppose the quality is a little bit higher at, at a county scene. Um, and you know, you could get one or two or three guys from that club who then go on and represent the county. You, you train with the county for the year. So it's not that often that myself and other players get to go back. So when you do get to the back, it's like you're, you're treasuring those minutes mm. and, and those hours together because, you know, maybe a week or two then has elapsed and then you're back with the county. So it's only short times you're there, you know, which is ironic in itself because everything is built upon the club, but yet the county has so much emphasis on it because of such high stakes and trying to win at, at that kind of level. You've been around Ireland the last few days. How are you going to tie it all in to the biggest stage of them all on All Ireland final day? How are you going to? Are you going to do your easy, research? No worries, I'm going to get yeah. all the Irish names right away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We so. met uh, Meenha Malulu. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, Oliver Hurtig, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He's yeah. a legend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing, yeah. So he gave us a few tips. You'll have to know brothers and sisters and grandparents and what car they drive and what colour it is to get it all in. <laughs> we'll, we'll be on the phone to you <laughs> yeah. to get that information before. I'd... It was a little bit quicker than soccer with the pace of the game, affect the way in which he's doing it. Yeah, because of the restarts. 
Restarts. Restarts are amazingly quick, aren't they? Mm. You know, so if they're going to show a replay mm. as yeah. well, we're, we will be struggling. Yeah, and there's six substitutions per team, so that's 12 substitutions in and out. They're not as long as soccer, maybe 30, 40 seconds max. You, you're making end. this sound really yeah. tough. You're making it sound really tough, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to hearing it, though. I think everyone will. <laughs> <laughs> This is the walk that Johnny would have made with his mammy. Amazing. These streets, they wouldn't be like this. They wouldn't oh, be empty. Chocolate. Yeah. Can you imagine the excitement, though? Whoa, the excitement when as oh, a young boy. Look at that. He is, saw yeah. this. Oh, look at that. There you go. Hey. Brilliant. I'm beginning to think it was just made up, but it's uh, there for all to see. Beautiful. Yeah. Croke Park Croker. Mm. Can't wait to see inside it now. No, no. You only get a sort of tiny hint of the feel of it though, don't you? Because mm. it's not match day now. And the next time I'm here, I'm going to, don't you, I'm going to be as nervous as a kitten. <laughs> It'll be great. I'm so looking forward to it. It's been a great journey and a great education so far. And uh, I really like the sport. That, that is the thing. No doubt about it. It's exciting to watch. Let's not kid ourselves. It will be difficult. No, it won't. It It'll will be. It will. It'll be. It will. And I'll tell you what, everybody in that stadium, from the fans, players, the press, the media, they'll all know more about it than we will. And yet we're going to be commentating on it. <laughs> I'm telling you now, Jeff, it will be unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs>